Well, here we are in Orlando, Florida. We've got wind power here, and we went to a military facility, bought some of these missile containers, uh, missile component containers, I should say. Um, bought them, uh, paid $75 for all four pieces, um, and wound up making this. This is uh, pretty cheap to consume configure cost us uh, just a little over four hundred dollars from Home Depot not including the box of course and we're gonna put our solar components in it today and as you can see sun's not fully up yet but we're already sitting just a little bit above 80 degrees we're gonna have uh, it'll get much much hotter than that but we're gonna construct today the uh, PVC pipe, put it in, and then uh, run it in our hot water tank. But we've also got our solar array um, building onto it. This system here puts out about 28 amps of power during the peak of the day. And then the windmill generator from Missouri Wind does a real, real good job when the wind's blowing. Um, we're in Orlando, Florida, so. A little bit touch and go sometimes. Anyways, more videos will come as we get the progression done on the uh, hot water heater. So far we've knocked our electric bill down from $260 to just a little above $100. I think it was $103 this month for electricity with just adding the solar array and the windmill. This should, this hot water heater solar should... Um, make a big big difference probably get the bill around a hundred and no not even a hundred probably around sixty five dollars a month um, of course right now it's winter time so we're not running the air conditioner um, really no need to run a whole lot of heat don't heat the whole house there's no reason for it uh, just heat one of the rooms sleep in the room and away we go but more videos will come